A couple of months ago, at the University of Ibadan, a lecturer from the Department of Mathematics, Aminu Zubaru, was reported to have committed suicide proud to a futile effort to obtain his doctorate degree after 22 years. An investigation conducted by the University Health Award confirmed that it was not completely true that Aminu Zubaru spent 22 years trying to obtain his doctorate degree. Other personal factors were in play to the tragic end of the lecturer in question. What sort of societal imbalance had the incident caused? Most certainly, the larger audience only drew their conclusions on the notion that several other lecturers were compelled to take years to have their doctorate degree. Could this have possibly been the situation with Aditsuji Adenio, a mathematics lecturer who took 25 years to obtain his doctorate degree? Aditsuji Adenio is a lecturer of mathematics at the University of Lagos, who obtained his doctorate degree in 2016 after 25 years striving to earn it. I am a doctor Aditunji Adeninyo. I went to school in the village. It was the olden days in this western region at Ikiri. Ikiri is a few kilometers to Ibadu. And the name of the school is Ayedade Grammar School, Ikiri. I have been a very good lover of mathematics. In those days, there used to be elementary mathematics, also additional mathematics, the so-called further mathematics now, uh, of which in my school that time, there were not many that took uh, additional mathematics, but I was the only one that did very well there. And uh, my background in uh, mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology, uh, equally, was very sound. The lecturer has always been a keen lover of mathematics, and the prestigious student never foresaw the problems that hindered his progress, and had logically concluded that he would have his qualifications in no sooner time. My late uncle, he was a lawyer, and he was a legal advisor for the federal government. In fact, I used to stay with him at Ikoi by then. So he felt that I should go in for engineering. But along the line, uh, my mathematical background was very sound. So I went for mathematics, but he, was, he didn't like it. Because all the time, he was warning me that you just end up teaching. In fact, he was hoping that teaching can never be improved in Nigeria, according to him that time. So we didn't like the area, but well. Now after finishing as well, uh, I wanted to go into banking system. He, my uncle didn't like it that I should not, he didn't want me to teach. So he assisted me to go for, uh, so I was interviewed at UBA. So, but uh, not quite long, University of Lagos now, I applied, they offered me in, uh, an offer because I came in for MSc immediately after my teaching. So they now offer me appointment as a graduate assistant. So based on that, even the money was small compared with that of the bank. In 1993, after completing his master's, he proceeded to obtain a doctorate degree. Things, however, began to fall apart. When a supervisor, Professor Bashir, made the decision to leave the country due to a deteriorated economic system. Then, uh, after that, that was 1983, then the problem started. Although, uh, my supervisor, Professor Batia, was not finding it convenient to stay in Nigeria again because our economy became bad. That was during the time of uh, this uh, Shagari's administration. Things became bad that the man could not cope. His wife was always complaining that he should let them go back to their country. I can remember very well that he used to tell his wife that, look, let me finish with this boy. Then I've registered my PhD. Immediately, you can say how brilliant. Immediately, I finished, I registered. He knew that he would soon go. I quickly registered for PhD. That as of, as of 82. Because my 
master two years, 80 to 82, and I finished that. I registered immediately. But in 1983, the man was complaining. Again, he said he was going. Because, you know, his wife used to trouble him because I was very close to their family. Even when they went on break, I used to stay in their guest in, in their quarters. To let you know, it took me like a child. So he left. Then the problem started. So now you can see that was where the problem is when the man left. Otherwise, before I left, okay, when he now left to India, he sent a message. He copied the university. I also have a copy that this boy has only six months more for him to graduate with his PhD. Of course, because I was, I never slept. My just eat, read, eat, read. Uh, except at a uh, time, I work for 24 hours at times. He said, the university should please release me to come and join him in India just for six months that this boy will complete his program. But that he even said, because he built a house. I, I never went there, but the house is nearer to that university, University of Joppa then, but they've changed the name of that university now. So uh, he said he would house me. Then that the university has discussed with his university there that they will give me office space and they will allow me to use all the facilities of the university. That the only thing that I should request from my home university is they should be able to send me in there and also uh, to feed me. And that is the only thing. Then after finishing there, I will come back to the University of Lagos and get PhD in the University of Lagos in that area. So that is uh, where the problem started. University claimed to be broke, that they could not afford to. So that is the origin of my problem. This decision hugely affected Dr. Adituji from completing his almost concluded doctorate program. You see, my own feeling was that, uh, you see, as a young colleague in the department, people ought to have assisted me when he left. Perhaps the only mistake I made that time, I would have uh, left the country as well, left the country. But maybe because I love Nigeria so much, even a friend of mine in the US used to say that, I'm too local that I love Nigeria so much. So the time I realized it was either too late. Later on, he decided to go into the school transport system to augment his meager salary. His determination and tenacity made him to reapply for a doctorate degree in 1997-1998 academic session. After 25 years of waiting, he finally got his doctorate degree in 2016. The University of Lagos used to run transport that time. I bought some buses. In fact, it's one I first bought. Then that one now started yielding. I was not the one driving it to, to carry students from Yaba to campus, Yaba to campus, to augment my stipend salary, which is very poor. So, and then uh, that also perhaps occupies part of my time because later it, it multiplied. I had about five or six of the vehicles. So you see, there is a limit to which you can register for a PhD program in every university. And University of Lagos is not an exception. So by when it was dragging, 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 by 1989, 90 or so, it has to stop. It was terminated. I now re-register again for PhD program. So that is the one that I would say that uh, that one led to my success of the picture you saw here. You can see, see the pictures there, even the present vice chancellor, the present vice chancellor, Professor Ogundikwe. You can see this. This is Professor Ogundikwe, the present vice This is the previous chancellor. You can see him. Hmm? So I graduated during it. But this, he was a deputy vice chancellor, but he came to this place to appreciate me because he was very happy. So you can see that most. Uh, People in the university, especially those who have been here for long, that they realize that this man was very brilliant and good, but it's not circumstances of events. They were all happy with him. If BBC should come, and many of my friends, many of them, they are professors, they were very happy. You see, especially when you know the ability of somebody, but and you know the circumstances that uh, befell him and never gave up. 
Historia has made him to become a beacon of all to his colleague across Nigerian universities. Going through the same unfortunate circumstance, believing that although there might be a delay in the academic quest, they would one day achieve that which they have worked hard for.